We all know that the N64 controller is not that great. Recently, people who supported Retro Fighters on Kickstarter are getting their Brawler 64 gamepad in the mail, and I'm going to check it out. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I am I am a fan of the N64. I'm not a fan of the controller. It's not my least favorite controller. I think that award goes to the Atari 5200. But I want to check this out and see how it plays and feels with some of my favorite games. Let's have a look. All right, here's an unboxing of the Brawler 64 gamepad. This is the first time of me opening it up. So, all right. Back of the box, talks about it. And again, uh, Retro Fighters Brawler 64 gamepad, which is kind of funny. The, the name is kind of funny because when I think of N64, I don't think of a brawler. But I guess, you know, thinking of games like uh, Smash Brothers, which I'll be testing with this controller, definitely. I thought of Smash Brothers when I saw this controller. And here we go. So, I heard something rattling inside. I was a little worried. It was just a little, little paper tab here. So, comes with a fold out. Very cool. Thank you. Love that. Love that one. There's huge thanks, people. And <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool to see that. Special thanks to a lot of people that probably supported it, play tested it, other things. All right. Awesome that it comes with the manual, now the controller. And, and there it is. All right, here we go. And these are the controllers that I want to compare it to size-wise. It is a little bit smaller than an Xbox One controller. And it's got a nice feel to it. One thing I need to note is it's pretty light. And it's got a nice analog stick on the left there. This D-pad feels all right. Nice big buttons. And I like the C buttons that they're bigger. And so I want to note that, that on versus the uh, those buttons on the original N64 that these look a little bit bigger and flatter. Very light. I don't know if I like that, but it feels all right. It has a nice grip to it. I mean, it's definitely, um, I'm looking forward to checking out some of my favorite games. Let's check it out. Here are the games that I'm gonna be testing today. I thought I'd take a combination of uh, third party classics as well as some games that really kind of define the N64. I also wanted to throw in kind of an oddball and that's Star Wars Shadow of the Empire and I thought it'd be a good game to kind of see how this game controls with kind of a kind of a game that most people have in their collection. Playing pretty much uh, Shadow of the Empire. It's kind of a cool old school classic. You know this is a the game that was a precursor to the Rogue Squadron. And the snow speeder level in general was kind of the thing that made them want to continue to do stuff for it. So yeah. Control's okay. Um, again, it just uh, it has a nice feel to it. Again, it's got a nice feel, nice, uh, nice balance of sensitivity with finesse. Trying a couple different modes here. First person mode. All right, controlling Dash Rendar. <laughs> yeah, gosh, I uh, I forgot how dated some of the graphics look. Just crazy. And again, controls pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit sensitive on the analog stick. But I'll take this days over the standard N64 controller. Forgot I had to charge up the... <laughs> kind of cool seeing the Millennium Falcon uh, leave.
Control's good. Probably one of the bigger games on the N64 is Mario Kart 64. And definitely wanted to ch uh, check out a racer with this controller. So many people that grew up on this game and just remember it so fondly. Gotta get a power up here. Nice balance though. So far, I mean, I really like the, the feel of this controller. Again, I've played a lot of different types of games with this controller and it doesn't matter what type of game it is, it's playing great. <laughs> this is such a classic. Ah! Woo! Do I think it holds an advantage over another controller? It all depends. Like to me, I feel like I'm playing with a modern controller. N64 controller just hasn't aged well. And if honestly, if I had four of these controllers, I wouldn't probably touch an N64 controller ever again. And so, you know, for me, I really like the N64. I'm going to be playing a lot. I'm probably going to be picking up a couple more of these because I personally am going to be playing with it. And so, you know, this is, you know, this is a controller that I purchased with my own money. I definitely re am recommending this controller because I think it gets the job done. I, th I think my only concern, and, and again, this is with any third-party controller, because Nintendo makes durable products. And, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a good controller. I want to see it long-term. How long does it, you know, can it last, you know, 100 hours with GoldenEye? What is the wear and tear like? Is it easy to repair? Is there any things that's going out early? I'm going to show you Super Smash Brothers. It'll be interesting to see what people, especially like tournament players, what they think of this game, of this controller. And you know, for me, again, I was not a fan of the N64 controller. And I'm more of a casual player, I admit it. You know, I, I have a lot of fun playing games, but I'm not competitive or anything. But, but yeah, you know, this, again, of any game I've been throwing at this controller, it's 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 playing fine and uh, controls fine. The controls great. Just want to continue to kind of see how it plays on different types of games, and so I'm so far very happy with with this controller. All right, this is Star Fox, and you know I haven't played this in a, quite a long time. And again, I'm playing this on my N64 with the Ultra HDMI. And want to let you know that a couple things. So first of all, I was able to easily get to the options menu of the Ultra HDMI with this controller. The Tremor Pack is installed. It's working great. And you know, I'm, I'm not the best Star Fox player, but it's playing great. Has some great control here. No issues whatsoever. You know, and, and the thing is, I'm going to be using this controller a lot. I like my N64. There's so many classics on this console that I'm going to be playing a lot of them. And so, you know, I think for the price so far, I mean, this, this is awesome. This is solid. Is it going to work with everything and everybody? No. But, you know, for me, I kind of feel like, gosh, it makes me want to go back and play some of the N64 games that because I have a controller now that works. And it's so nice. It's so nice to have a controller where I can, you know, play the games that I grew up with and, you know, see if I can beat the high score. The one thing that I do want to note on playing this, I don't know what I think of the shoulder buttons. I, I They're not bad. They're not the quality of the N64, though. I really like the uh, N64 controller shoulder buttons. These, um, it's okay. I just I, I wanna I wanna give them the endurance test. You know how long are they gonna last? That's just my thoughts on it. Perfect dart. It's really nice to play this with an actual controller. <laughs> and again, I haven't played this game in quite a bit. I forgot that you didn't start with a weapon. Funny story about this game, Perfect Dark. I used to work at GameStop in late 90s and I used to have a name badge that said I love Perfect Art. <laughs>
yeah, that controls good. I really like that. Again, this is a this is a controller. If I was to play this game, I think I definitely would be using this controller to play this game. It just, yeah, I haven't played this game, and it's just weird to go back, you know, after so many <laughs> so many years, finally to play this game. So there it is, Brawler 64. I was pretty happy with the product. It's not perfect, but I think for the price, it's great. For people that dislike the N64 controller, I think this is a great alternative. Again, it doesn't work with the transfer pack. It did work with the rumble pack and the memory card that I had. I wanted to show it on screen playing some different games, and I thought it was a success. I thought it was fun, good controls. Definitely want to put some more time in it, but initial impressions of it are pretty solid. Thank you so much for people around the world that continue to tune in to my humble channel as I march towards 60,000 subs. I also have a Patreon if you want to continue to support me there. I am trying to raise funds for better equipment and especially a camera. I'd like to get a better camera and that's high on my priority. So thank you so much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.